Well, we have Cursor 2.0 and this is amazing. Now, before we start this video, why don't you go ahead and download Cursor? So if you go to download button, we can see that we have all these options for Windows, for Linux and for Mac OS. I'm on my Windows system, so I'm going to go ahead and download for Windows, get that exe file and install on your system. Now, while this is installing, let's go ahead and discuss what's new with Cursor 2.0 and the Composer. So what's that Composer? Cursor has released this new version called 2.0. The first is Composer. Now this Composer is an LLM, okay? It's a Frontier model. It's a model that is four times faster than the similar intelligent model. If you go ahead and look at this graph, you can see that in terms of intelligence, it is better than the best open source model. Composer is better than the fast Frontier models. The Frontier models, it is giving a very good competition when compared to the best Frontier models with respect to intelligence. But with respect to speed, it's by far the fastest model even when compared with the fast frontier model or the best frontier models and i've tested i've gone ahead and tested cursor on our system because we have multi-agent uh, sort of thing that you can use uh, which we're going to discuss in just a moment of time but if we go ahead and try this composer llm or model and compare its response with gpt5 or other models you will see a very good improvement in speed now this is one thing so this is the model that they have released so for building composer they have used initially they have a prototype model called cheetah and this composer is a smarter version of this cheetah model composer is basically a mixture of experts language model supporting long context generation and understanding it's uh, specialized through reinforcement learning in a diverse set of development environments but it's mainly focused on your coding environments and coding jobs now you can see that this is the benchmark for the ability improvement with respect to RL training. So when we increase the training compute, we can see that the composer increases consistently on benchmarks with more training compute. So given more training compute, we are able to get a better model. And the best frontier model is somewhere here, about 55, uh, and it's about 52-ish. So you can see that the model also utilizes to call tool calls in parallel for more efficient use when we use reinforcement learning to make this model better. We can also see that it's able to search and read and file read tools relative to the code updates. And this is an amazing it, but in this video, we're going to test the capabilities of Composer. Now, if you have downloaded the model, so if you go ahead and open cursor uh, for the first time after the update, the version 2.0, it's really sleek. It's really different. We're gonna see two uh, tabs right away. So on the top, you can see that this is the agent view and this is the editor view. So the normal editor view where you can have your codes here and you can have a chat window on the right. Uh, we have different models that you can choose. So if you click here, you can go ahead and choose auto model uh, that will basically select models automatically or you can select the composer model here so this is the composer model that you're talking about that cursor has brought forward you can select other models as well but to use this model we are going to need a pro account at least so you're going to go ahead and sign up and uh, take a plan and then you'll be able to select this composer model and it's really amazing so on this editor tab what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, you know just basically chat in the normal route that you use you can go ahead to agents we can plan we can ask and you can select the particular llms from here the list of other elements you can add models as well and you can see that we have all these models view models I have not yet ticked these on but there are other models which you can use as well uh we're gonna have a look at and test the composer but the second feature is this web browser so you can connect to browser they have made their own uh, browser tab here so that's an internal tab and it's really easy to use really intuitive you don't have to go to a different uh, browser like google chrome because they have released this browser for you now in the browser you can select different elements as well uh, so we're going to look at one example of that as well and then you can see that we can upload uh, the image here so for any questions you can upload the image and also another feature is this voice input so you can just press this control shift uh, and space and you can just read out what you want and then it will be filled here so just just a voice command that you can use i've already gone ahead and tried this so let me show you 
a video where I have been working on and then again go ahead and look at it together. So you can see that I gave this command to convert this main 2.py file into a function where I need the front end where users put in question and I pass that to the invoke method. So I basically want it to convert to a streamlet. So it's reading the main 2.py file and it's trying to make some changes here and it's asking me if I should go ahead and do this. So I said yes, I can use streamlet to do this. So it goes ahead and uh, changes the code. The red is the code that is deleted and the green is one that is has been added. So we can run this code by saying streamlet or run app dot Hi, and I asked it to run it for me. Typically, it should have worked, but we need to install a few things. Okay, so for installing, I need to go to this uh, Langchain. I've been working on Langchain. Langchain, there's a V1, so install Langchain OpenAI and Langchain libraries. So it's going to install the Langchain OpenAI and Langchain libraries. And once it's installed, then it's going to test it out again. So the next step, what we need to do is uh, manually let's run and you can see that we get this we can run it in this browser as well we can see the output here we can see the front end has been made asking about the weather so what's the temperature in delhi so if you ask this question it will reply with an answer but we don't have the api key as of now in the dot env file we need to put the api key for that api key we can go to platform.openai.com put in some things put in a credits uh, take the key and paste it here and then let's try this again so after you restart uh, streamlit you will be able to run this again so let's run this again and now we can see weather in delhi but this is going to give me a very structured response because this is what the code has asked now this is the element feature i've been talking about you can check this label you can put in this label you can say that change this uh, to please enter your question about weather so i'm going to change this text here so if you refresh this if you stop uh, the streamlit app and it, and again just run it again so you'll be able to see that the text has been changed okay the next one was uh i wanted it to make it a little more interesting so i asked it to make the app a little more interesting but there was some high demand at that time so i had to try uh, again at a later time so you can see that it's reading the code here and it's trying to make and beautify the code here uh, virtual design let's see let's use this and let's run streamlit so streamlit run app.py and take this and put it in its own browser 8502 and you can see that this is amazing it's so beautiful now i can say what's the weather in let's say new york and you can get this answer here really amazing really amazing okay the next feature that i'm going to talk about is the agents here as you can see switch to agents now in this agent view we can run parallel agents first of all so you can run a batch of parallel agents and at the same time you can run a different agent for example we have this three agents so i used uh, the parallel feature to run all these three elements together so we have this question make the user interface engaging and we pass that prompt to these three LLMs, Composer, GPT-5 Codex, and Haiku 4.5. It goes ahead and run on this code. You can go to New Agent, and then you can click on this 1x, and here you can say 3x. After you say 3x, you're going to have to select three options after you use multiple op models here if you don't use multiple models it's just a single model which is composer one in this case you can select other models as well sonnet 5 4.5 so if you use use multiple models then you can select uh different models so let's say sonnet 4 and let's say gpt5 codex so this is the four models that we are going to use and using this models we can ask a, a particular question and the LLM is going to process all these at the same time. So for example, uh, if you go ahead and look at this example. So what I did was take three models here and make the UI interesting. So it goes ahead and you can see that the LLMs uh, goes ahead and starts working. So you can see that the composer is really fast. It uh, started, but the Codex 5 and uh, Haiku is slower so composer is the fastest haiku is the second and gpt5 codex is not yet started here and you'll be able to see that after some time uh, we get uh, 
the composer output and you can see that this is the output here so what you can do is you can go to haiku's output and again change this to full overwrite so you're gonna overwrite the outputs you can see the output here this is not bad as well so we can reapply again for the composer and you can see that this is the output here now let's wait for the codex 5 uh, to generate so you can see that uh, the codex 5 is generating still and after it's generate it now you can go ahead and apply all i can say full override and you can see that uh, this is the output of gpt5 codex well in this example uh, there is not much change the output of all the three are equivalent but again in terms of speed composer is the fastest here so that's it for the updates so again in summary if we say the first is that they have released a new llm a new model known as composer then we have the voice input we have a dedicated browser that you can use you can go ahead to agents and you can let three agents or three or more agents and you can see that it's available up to five so five agents working together for a common goal and all these agents work in separate environments so it's not really possible for any mix-up you can select the best solution out of the all the runs from different llms so you don't have to wait and try and test you can run all these in parallel and choose the best one while all this is running uh, what you can go ahead and when while all this is running you can go ahead and create a new agent start up a new task and let this run on the background that is another feature that cursor has brought forward and i think that this is really amazing i'm going to use it more and more to create projects let me know what you think about this and how you're going to use this so let's wait for your feedback again check out this next video if you're looking for inexpensive gpus you can go to get.runpod.io slash pe48 and you'll be brought to this wonderful runpod gpu you. you can claim your bonus where you can get anything between five to five hundred dollars when you recharge uh, with ten dollars for the first time but if i go ahead and log in to run pod and see the list of different gpus that we have if you go to pod section here you can see that we have tons of gpus starting from 141 gb gpu or 180 gb gpu to as low as 16 gb vram or talking about the cost 0.25 dollars per hour to about you know 5.69 dollars per hour for a 180 gb gpu i use this extensively for my projects because my own system is not that strong to run these these large models i use this for my different projects if you like it you can go ahead to the link and try this out but anyway cursor is amazing i'm going to use it again and again poser is amazing it's so fast you can done it so fast you can do your jobs in a shorter amount of time and in this and in the present world time is of the essence i don't get time to do all these different ideas that i have on my mind and if you can do this task quickly if you can run your commands you can if you can design your app quickly even if you just save 30 or 40 seconds for each run that's gonna pile up for your life and you can spend some time for yourself so have a nice day i'll watch out this next video and i will see you there thank you